dig that so much. And it's so fucking cool that you found your way with the simple NN dimethyltryptamine to the point of something that I explained in the second book about enlightenment in that you access infinite knowledge and infinite intelligence and infinite wisdom that's out there possibly in the quantum field in a data structure that we don't yet understand, but that you had access to that and, and that's through what I, that's fucking what I, that's what ayahuasca I felt. alone. I felt information. Yeah. And... I, when I, you know, later, when I tried to retrieve the information is the best way to articulate it. Yeah. I knew that there was too much and oh, it was too intangible totally. to, to be, bring back. Yeah. And that's, and I explained that. And that's how basically I, I explained the whole, like when I went to the, when, when I went to enlightenment camp, <laughs> enlightenment camp. <laughs> right. I had all infinite knowledge and infinite wisdom. And, but the problem is you can't fucking fit it in your head. And so. When I was on my way back, and I knew I was on my way back to the, my human body, because I thought I was dead for thousands of years, right? And then I came back into this human body, I knew that I was only going to be able to bring a portion of it back. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I want to understand how the human mind works. I want to understand pain and suffering. And there was a fucking jokester who was like, yeah, you weren't the first. Like, you know, he's joking, like, the Buddha wanted the same shit, and, you know, all the other people who fucking visited here want the same shit. Well, I fucking came back from that, and then I wrote a couple of books about it that happened to be the the best fucking books on human emotion that exist, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'll actually concur with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, me too. I and will wholeheartedly <laughs> yeah. without laughing concur. Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, I, I put a lot into it, but I wanted it to be a, look, I mean, this is, this is what is out there that you can fucking bring back if you focus on it enough. Like, there's knowledge out there in that realm that you can bring back. Like, I didn't have any fucking psychology classes in, in, in college. I should know absolutely nothing about human emotion and the human mind and how it all works and multiple levels of mm -hmm. consciousness and all that shit that I got from this experience of enlightenment that I brought back and now I'm explaining and we're, we're creating artificial emotional intelligence from the work that I brought back, right? That's fucking tangible evidence that what you experienced is fucking real in tapping into the infinite knowledge and infinite intelligence that you experienced in that moment on dimethyltryptamine from ayahuasca that is fucking substantial yeah. and that should be that should be lauded in the scientific community every fucking major scientist who has the ability to bring back a large chunk of knowledge and wisdom should be out there exploring exploring expanding consciousness yeah and I, I think it's really important to emphasize again that there are a lot of things that the human brain cannot actually fathom yes 